not over until I win. Repeat after me, please. It's possible. I can live my dream. It's necessary. I work on myself. Surround myself with winners. Become creative. It's me. I've got to make it happen. It's not over until I win. The next thing that's important to know, yes, it's possible that you can choose your future and direct the course of your life as you run toward your dream. It's necessary that you have goals, that you write those goals down, that you plan, that you think constantly of how you can begin to improve what it is that you're doing. If it's your presentations, if it's your recruiting skills, whatever that is, it's also necessary that you look for ways to always find a way to pull it out when everybody else thinks that you are defeated, that you've got to take personal responsibility to know that in order to become successful, you've got to make it your personal business to do it. But the next thing, ladies and gentlemen, I want to share with you that some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. It was hard when just over three years ago, in the Penobscot building in Detroit, Michigan, where I was operating my business, and I fell on some hard times, and I was sleeping in my office. It was hard coming into the lobby, and the security said, excuse me, Mr. Brown, can we see you for a moment? And I said, yes, and I walked up to the counter, and he gave me an envelope, and he said, would you mind reading it here? And I opened the envelope, and the envelope was from management that said, this is an office tower. It's not a hotel. Please do not sleep in your office. And I said, excuse me, sir. I said, I just worked long hours in creating my business. I'm an entrepreneur. And right now, things are bad for me. But they're not going to be this way always. And I just asked for the opportunity to continue to operate like I'm doing. I'm not trying to make this my home. And it was hard coming through the lobby. And sometimes they would laugh. There's a guy talking about becoming successful. And look at it. He's bathing in the bathroom upstairs on the 21st floor. He sleeps on the floor. Him and two other dreamers up there. Look at him. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen, coming to speak to people. And I was facing financial difficulties in my own life. I was behind on my bills and my dreams, and I'm saying to them, you can live your dream. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. It was very difficult to pick myself up each day believing that I could do it. There were times that I doubted myself. I said, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? It was very hard. Here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I would have my own talk show. It's a long shot, ladies and gentlemen, from Liberty City, an abandoned building on a floor never knowing my mother or father. It's a long shot. Being here with you today in this dome in Atlanta, it's a long shot. No college training, labeled, educable, mentally retarded, but I kept running toward my dream. Don't stop. 